Hello there everyone, Luke and Prime here, so it's time for another voice comparison, this time for my favourite Star Wars character being Darth Vader. So this is an updated one, I do know I've done two before, but this one has more actors in, so I definitely want to check this out because it's my favourite Star Wars character. So, without further ado, full volume, full screen, and let's go. Lord Vader. I must say, Patrick, you've done a really good job picking the music. It's beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? <sighs> yes. Ben Murdy has created such a legendary sound effect there with the breathing. With the scuba gear. Legend. It was Wally, too. What's that? That is the voice of Darth Vader, James Earl Jones. No one beats him as Vader. I'm sorry, no way. No one at all. Commander, tear this ship apart until you found those plans and bring me the passengers. I want them alive! The diplomatic... Your so surprised, Your Highness. You weren't on any mercy mission this time. Several transmissions were beamed to the ship by rebel spies. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent you. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take it away! I have traced the rebel spies. That voice is just perfect. Now my only link to finding their secret base. Leave that. What a legend. Send a distress signal and then inform the Senate that all aboard were killed. Ah, uh, holiday special. I've not seen it, but I've heard it is terrible. But it is rare that we brought back the film actors for Price of Their Old. And that's actually the first Star Wars media which confirmed he voiced Darth Vader because he was uncredited in New Hot. Ah, yeah, the best Star Wars on the Empire Strikes Back. You do not yet realize your importance. You have only begun to discover your power. Join me. And I will complete your training. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. No. I am your father. Greatest plot twist every cinematic history. You know I'm your father. Luke. You can destroy the Emperor. He has foreseen this. It is your destiny. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Good work. Ah, uh, Return of the Jedi, my favourite Star Wars Leave film. Us. I do give Empire the best one, but this is my favourite Star Wars film. <laughs> to me. The Emperor has been expecting you. So, you have accepted the truth. That name no longer has any meaning for me. I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. Your skills are complete. Indeed, you are powerful, as the Emperor has foreseen. Obi-Wan once thought as you do. You don't know the power of the dark side. I must obey my master. Love that line. If that is your destiny, it is too late for me, son. Oh yeah, then you're the safe. Yes, master. Where is Padme? There was speculation we didn't voice me, but that is definitely is James Earl Jones. Is she alright? I... I couldn't. She was alive. I felt it. That delivery is just perfection. Who goes there? <laughs> oh, Ben Thomas. Hey, it's Gus Clark and Richie. We're here to see Mel. You I'm not may seeing enter. Him. Thanks, Darth. Perhaps that is the problem. Ah, Rebels. You lack Love Rebels. imagination, Minister. When it comes it was so great I brought back James Earl Jones to Star Wars Rebels. I did not the see Rebels that coming at all when I first watched this show when I was young. And if they are here, we must draw them out. We will Season 2 is definitely my favourite season of Rebels because he was in it, Darth Vader. The whereabouts of these traitors. Fear has driven them to ground. There is a refugee camp the rebels have provided aid to in the past. It's probably because you brought out many no, familiar voice actors from the movies. So far as their roles, but I kind of fed rebels and turned the voice acting into the Clone Wars. One we will exploit. Even though the Clone Wars is my first Star Wars cartoon. Oh yeah, Rogue One. 
You seem unsettled. My apologies. You do have a great many things to explain. Its power to create problems has certainly been confirmed. A city destroyed. An Imperial facility openly attacked. You were not summoned here to grovel, Director Connick. No, it's... There is no Death Star. The Senate has been informed that Jeddah was destroyed in a mining disaster. I expect you not to rest until you can assure the Emperor that Galen Erso has not compromised this weapon in any way. I hope you find oh, your quarters yeah, adequate, really Princess Leia. Bear me your indignation, to some of your it's Highness. It's not bad, you know. This machine, and this, it like, is called an interrogation device. Even, so I'll definitely give him a thumbs up. It's pretty good. But there who call it other things. You're a rebel. You've refused your one chance for mercy. And now, Your Highness, we shall discuss the location of your hidden rebel base. Princess Leia Organa, listen to my voice. Pay attention to my voice. You see, because we actually brought Mark Hamill and right. Daniel's this drama you too. You hear That's only really my cool. voice. Listen to it. Trust it. I am your friend. That's a very good delivery. Yes. Yeah. Very good. All Obviously your secrets beats James are Jordan safe Baker. with me. You can trust me. I am a member of the Rebel Alliance, like you. You try my patience. Tell me what was done with those plans. No. Listen to my voice. You are now in good great pain. Excruciating pain. Much different from the movie, isn't it? The Much universe different. Are. Your world is nothing but pain. Tell me what I wish to know. That is torture, no, isn't it? Tell me what I wish to know. Where are the plans? I can't tell. Your skin is a fire. Oh, You're no. burning. No. Your nerve endings are in flame. Oh, Your flesh oh, is being no. torn apart. Oh, I will when you've told me where the plans are. You're dying in torment. Where are the Death Star plans? Where is the Rebel Fortress? There are only seconds left. Your heart is about to burst, and the breath of life is nearly gone. You must! Oh, yeah, of course, don't cross right back. Once again, he was doing all the great dramas, didn't he? Brock Fortress. It's for you that this gantry broke your force. Look, there, down the reactor shaft. Long, long fall to best it. If you're not sucked into an exhaust port or killed by an energy discharge, you can only lose. You are beaten, Skywalker. It is useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi Wan mm. did. <laughs> I do not wish to damage you, but you leave me no alternative. No sword. Oh. No sword hand. That was new. Left for you, Skywalker. Yeah, Skywalker. Red Drum has much more dialogue than the movies, doesn't it? There is no escape. Yes, there is. Luke, do not make me destroy you. You do not yet realize your importance. It sounds like he's regretting what he's doing, doesn't he? <laughs> Join me. I will complete your dream. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. Your kind of order. I'll never join you. I'll die first. If only you knew the power of the dark side. I've seen it. Hatred. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mark Hamill did come up with Empire Strikes Back later on. So he didn't come back with Return of Jedi. I was a different actor. You told me you killed my father. No, Luke. I am your father. That's impossible. Such your feelings. You know what I say to be true. That's new. No! Luke's upset. Luke! You can destroy the Emperor. He has foreseen this. Join, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Please do that. Come with me, Luke. It is the only way this can end. Show yourself. Oh, yeah, of course, to a Jedi's drama, too. <clears throat> I will not fight you. Give yourself to the dark side. It is the only way you can save your friends. Yes, your thoughts betray you. Your 
feelings for them are strong. I feel like his voice evolved Especially a bit, Brock Pierce, didn't it? Like, it sounds much more or less like James or Jones as the dramas progress from New York to Return of the Jedi, doesn't it? It sounds more like in the new hope than he does here. Yeah, it doesn't really sound much like James or Jones in this, for instance. <clears throat> Now his failure is complete. Will not turn hmm. to the dark side. Then perhaps Wade delivers his lines. It's much more different than Grand Jones. Father! Die! Yes! Release me! Vega! I can't be Yeah. I doesn't really sound like the Emperor Palpatine, did it? But, mm. Nice. Because when they did turn on the Emperor, he became Anakin. Escape. Oh yeah. Don't make me destroy you. Join me and I will complete your training. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. Um, and for this one, I'm going to give him a not bad because... No, he doesn't really I sound evil, does mom. he? You know what I mean? The way he's delivering no. it doesn't really sound as evil as, as he no, did in the radio dramas. True. That's impossible! Luke, you can destroy the Emperor. It is your destiny. See what I mean? Join me and together we can rule the galaxy as far He's lacking that sun. evil torment James or Jones had. Oh, change. I have you. Oh now. yeah, the X-Wing game. Congratulations. The death star hmm. is complete. That's pretty good. Sounds a bit close to General Jones, but I'll definitely give this guy a thumbs up. Never played that game, though. Oh, and thank you, Patrick, for telling us who this actually is, because Generation West's voice convention didn't tell us, did it? Oh, yeah, Scott Owens. Absolutely. The Emperor will want to prototype immediately. Welcome, Admiral Harkov. We have a matter to discuss. What is the location of your fleet? Now you shall pay for your treachery. All is prepared at Endor for the upcoming battle. I have ensured that the rebels are unaware of the true operational status of the new Yeah, he Death sounds like Hoss James or Jones. Even now, Even the about. rebels are gathering their forces at Thust for the strike on Endor. Little do they know of the fate that awaits them. You may wonder why I have brought you oh. here. Vader Immortal Stars VA Special. Mm. And I will spare your life. This is the one I've been searching for. He sounds much different here, doesn't he? You, you know what I seek. Take the artifact key. Open the sanctum lock now. Mm. You have acquitted yourself well. I will not be denied. You will help seize the Bright Star. I sense a latent force ability within you. Follow me and I will instruct you in its ways. You will need the force if you are to survive the path ahead. Keith Erg? No, I'm sorry. Oh yes! I am a big fan of Robot Chicken, and I love him as Darth Vader, he's so funny as him. Princess Leia is your so sister, sister, and the Empire will be defeated by Ewoks. And as a child, I built C-3PO. <laughs> and the Force? Well, that's just my He's just so funny. If you want some comedy with Star Wars related, then do watch Robot Chicken. This will be a day yes! long remembered. The beginning of I love Matt Sloan as Vader. He can do such a fantastic impression of James Earl Jones. So convincing as in too. I will punch in for the first time. And yeah, I need to watch Chad Vader one day. I'm missing out on that. Shift manager. Funny. I punched in. 
Out of all the voice actors running for like, you know, video games and stuff besides James Earl Jones, Matt's probably my favourite one from video games. My second favourite voice made after James Earl Jones. Okay, maybe I can hide it with this. Come on, hide. No, that's not gonna work. Something else. Oh, this should do it. He's great. Oh yes, Force Unleashed, the best Star Wars games ever. He's seen Starkiller. Yeah, this is the first time I heard him as Darth Vader this, the Force Unleashed game. At last. And it was great having the first mission again. You could actually play as Darth Vader on Keshik. That was amazing. Your training is nearly complete. And I actually thought it was James Earl Jones when I first played this. I was shocked when I saw the credits saying it wasn't James Earl Jones. I was very impressed with Matt Sloan's impression. Destroy him and bring me his lightsaber. I will say that if James Earl Jones passes away, unfortunately, becomes one of the force, Matt Sloan would be perfect candidate to be the voice of Darth Vader from then on. Oh, I've seen this. It is pretty funny. And he makes this on Comic Con, so yeah, that's good. You're a bad man and The rebel scum who attacked us must be found and eliminated. <laughs> For your sake, Admiral, I pray you are up to the task. Yes, Lord Vader. Not this Skywalker. I remember that bit. That was so funny. Your claw drives were but after you him. failed me for the last time. Uh, you know, um, if you let him live, he could fail you again. Be quiet. <sighs> Mutton heads. When they hear you've attacked a diplomat... Don't oh, talk yeah. back to me. Nostalgia, There is no way to speak to your father. <laughs> Oh, this guy's really funny, yeah, so yeah, absolutely. Um, just forget that part, everybody. Totally not important. Uh, I've seen several of his, of his uh, reviews of movies. He's actually really funny, so yeah. Good, good. Go with that. Take her away. <laughs> Dodged a bullet. <laughs> oh my god, are there still Oh, another things? one. Okay, where's the script? How many lines do I have? Okay. What? This it? Oh Christ, I was in the sand a lot longer. What am I literally just taking a bath while I'm off screen? Okay, okay. <clears throat> Look here, General Krennic. Krennic? What the hell kind of name is that? It's like in one ear and out the other. Forgotten. I forgot I even said it. Oh, fuck it. Just don't have me scream no, and we'll be good. I have come to deliver the most awesome scene in the movie. <laughs> yeah, this raw bomb. Yeah, no. This is nothing. This is literally nothing. I can do this with no hands. Watch. Huh. you now. Yeah. <laughs> My saber is also great at making people shorter. And you, 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 you belong on the ceiling. Check it out, check it out. I'm not even looking at you. I'm not even looking at you. That's how easy this is. I'm so cool. Huh, look at this punk ass. Looks like Rebel Kool Aid. Okay, fine, whatever. So long, suckers. No. Welcome back. To recap from last ah, week, yes. That's better than the other one, definitely. The I can't say mad seriously, it's it's stupid show, I don't like it. But for a tattoo show, it's better than the other guy. So we'll he actually tried to sound like Darth Vader, or like that other one. I don't know what that was. Oh. Made it this far, but today's mission will be the hardest yet, because today you will be storming the Rebel Stronghold on the Ice Planet Hall. Congratulations, stars. You've completed your final mission. We did it! And thanks to you, we have defeated the Rebel Alliance. All right! And made the galaxy safe for evil. What happened? Dark side wins. Dark side wins. Dark side wins. Dark side wins. <laughs> um, no. I'm sorry. I have seen this, but I didn't like his performance as Darth Vader. I'm not. Nope. Doesn't See sound, you know, no, evil or anything like that, really. Exactly. Nothing like Darth Vader. Good. Good. Darth, you want a donut? And if you want me, Darth Vader doesn't even laugh no, 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 no. at all. But it was cool, I've actually got a Lego George Lucas to tell him off, but I will. Tell him I was a great voice actor. He'll always be John Stewart, really, an actor man. You know, but, but not um, Darth Vader. Sorry, George. 
He's also the judge on Family Guy as well. It's funny in that role. Unleash the pods. Oh yeah, I've seen this after. Uh, I'll say not bad. Oh yes, absolutely. I've seen this beatdown, it's absolutely amazing. He was a great job impersonating James Earl Jones. Your sorcery does not compare to the power of the dark side. Your master is defeated. Now, hand me the ring. He's oh yeah, against Batman. Team. Yes, I love this Lock fight too. Three and four, and leave the rest to me. It sounds different, here, doesn't it? made a mistake, company. You do not know the power of the dark side. The force will sustain me long enough. You underestimated me. I underestimate nothing. I find your lack of sauce disturbing. Okay, yeah. Uh, that was good. I will <gasps> yes! I love the Vader so one film. Jesse Gomez does a great job impersonating James Earl Jones here. Fantastic voice work. There is no escape. I thought the best fan film ever seen in Star Wars. Answer for your failure to save her. I destroyed your enemy. Forged for you an empire. That is such great voice work. I've seen some of Jesse's clips, you know, that he's done with his read dubs from Darth Vader's lines. He's actually really good. Convincing as James Earl Jones. What is thy bidding, my master? I am fine, my master. I have no such wish, Master. There is no attachment. Anakin Skywalker was weak. I destroyed him. I cannot, my Master. As you wish. Come with episode How two. I'm so excited for that. It will feature Mace Windu. I will finish what we started, Master. <sighs> Just like his grandson will. Then I will not decades fail, later. Master. None of Lost troopers do not concern me, Commander. I want that Jedi. I will use the 501st. As you wish, sir. That's it, wow. So, um, my favourite voice of Vader, well, there's only one voice, and that is, of course, the legendary James Earl Jones. Um, but Matt Stone is definitely a close second because he sounds so convincing. I also love Jesse Gomez from the Vader fan film series, and also from his own voice work he does on his own. And also, uh, John Charles Cow, do you think he's called from uh, the Super Beatdowns from Bang the Sun? Yeah, his voice work is also top notch too. Yeah, John Charles Cowdery, that's his name, yeah. Brock Pierce is also pretty good too, is in his radio drama. He's in, but he's no longer with us, so yeah, may he rest in peace. So yeah. So respect to him. But yeah, James is Darth Vader, without a doubt. And Solon Saw's pretty good, but there is one voice that you did miss, Patrick Vaughan, hates him in a, it's TC Carson who voiced him in a video game about a decade.